guys, Chesh, Guten Tag, and all that jazz, and we are back in Arkelos, exactly where we left off last time. Now we're gonna go towards the city. Now I'm guessing something will happen along the way, because the game intentionally wants us to go the manual, uh, manual route. Instead of teleporting us in, which means there are probably going to be some stuff happening along the way. Now, I'm assuming, I'm just assuming, that the game will want us to go via the only route available, aka through Silbach, uh, then towards Terry. And I'm just assuming something is going to happen along the way. Uh, beautiful nighttime, by the way. Uh, what is this? Uh, I think I can leave for the mine now without arousing suspicion. Oh yeah, because uh, two days have passed. Right, right, right. So, uh, okay, I guess uh, that's going to be the next quest we're going to do. Right? Uh, any mobs are going to spawn near, uh, near them? Okay, let's uh, save the game just in case. Just in case... Uh, Anything happens, or a random encounter happens along the way. Okay, nothing so far. Cool, cool, cool. I'm curious if the game takes into account the idea that we pop the speed potion. I'm actually super curious about that. Zabierz... Um... Take me to nah. Nah. Tangle pieces. Screw that. I do like a like the runner system, by the way, in game. It feels way more natural than uh, the fast travel mechanic that's so present. Oh, that's so present in many games. Cool, we got the experience bonus. Yeah, shut up, Felix. I just saved your ass. Uh, yeah, I like this mechanic way more. Uh, sh assassination attempt on Volker. This is new. This is new. Wait a second. Assassination attempt on Volker, huh? So, we also got a letter from... Um, no, not the ship's manifest. Not interested in that. Uh, deed of house ownership, no. Order to kidnap Yorn, oh yeah. Ben, there's a job for you. You will go to the village of Silbach and bring me one guy from there. The hut where he is staying is just behind the inn where the commoners live. Don't worry, scouting the place and destination will be done by my man who will accompany you. Your task is to transport and make sure that our guest will not cause any trouble. Just don't let your hand slip, the guy has to reach me alive. By the way, demolish that shack a bit. The whole thing should look like a burglary. Knowing your reputation, I will send the gold in advance. You'll find it in the pouch attached to this letter. So, uh, yeah, assassination attempt on Volker, huh? Okay. To every citizen of Arkelos, there has been a disgusting and shameful attempt of assassination in our city. In broad daylight, on one of the streets, an unknown felon tried to make the life of a respectable citizen... Take the life of a respectable citizen, Mr. Volker. The city guard is currently examining all the leads and the first suspects have been already detained. According to the information provided by Roderick, the investigation is about to end within the following days, so our good people can sleep well again. If you have any information about this case, you are obliged to bring them to the authorities. Uh, this guy is blowing his horn. I knew I was hearing a horn. Uh, who's, that? who's this guy over here? A worried man. Oh, we have a couple of uh, random encounters, huh? So, uh, let's do them, since they spawned. So, what it guy? What do you have to tell me? Okay, let's see if we can shut him up uh, the diplomatic way. Hey, dude. 
Can you be quiet? Co może być ciszej? Niektórzy chcieliby odpocząć od dźwięku twojego rogu. Co takiego? Ja muszę ćwiczyć. Czy to ci się podoba, czy nie? If you don't do it the right way, we'll talk another. I'll pay you to stop. Zapłacę ci, byś przestał. No, to zupełnie inna sprawa. Dobrze, zrobię sobie przerwę. Okay, I guess this was the peaceful way to do it. W końcu cisza. Wedle umowy. Oto twoja nagroda. Oh, so we we got a hundred gold pieces. Cool. Okay, so that was one random encounter, so let's uh, digest what happened. Um, so it seems Big Ben was hired by somebody with a lot of money. I'm guessing he was probably hired by Volker. Uh, the reason why I'm making this specific assumption... I wanna... Um, wanna check up here if we... Uh, if we also got this tree, yeah, we actually missed this tree. So the reason I'm making the specific uh, deduction, he has the money to do it. There aren't a lot of um, potential suspects, right? Now, good storytelling would tell you that uh, it should be a person that we've already met. Now, we haven't met Volker. It's either Volker, Lorenzo... Probably the mayor, or uh, the guy who owns the fortress, aka Ulrich. It's probably one of them. Hey Terry, let me give you a gold piece. Here. How are you doing, man? Mm, it's going. It's going. We need to get back to the city, but it's going. Okay, let's uh, just preemptively have our lightning spell ready. Just in case. Now, I'm curious. When we get back to the Araxas gold mine, will the gold veins respawn once we start out this new quest? Who knows? Maybe. Uh, now, back to the main quest. Hmm... So let's see. Somebody tried to assassinate Volker. That sounds a bit suspicious because he seems like the kind of guy who has 10 bodyguards around him at least at all times, right? Feels exceptionally suspicious to have an assassination attempt on him. Maybe if somebody used a crossbow or I don't know, something like that, that would make sense or even magic, a magical scroll. Sure, that would make sense. Uh, but then again, the question is, does the game want us to go to the left gate, to the main gate, or to the other gate? I have no idea. I have no idea what the game wants from us. So, but we're going to find out. Now, let's, uh, let's go this way. Oh, the gates are closed. I see the logic. So, because an assassination attempt happened, they closed the gates. Is that going to lock us into the city once that happens? So, Dietrich. Zaczekaj moment. Yes, I have papers. Goniec Marvin? Zgadza się. Dobra, możesz wejść. Co tu się dzieje? Nie słyszałeś? W mieście. Pojawiła się wielka grupa uchodźców, a gubernator wprowadził stan wyjątkowy. Do tego jeszcze ten zamach na Volkera. Jeden z waszych gońców poprosił mnie, abym informował każdego z was, by jak najszybciej stawić się u Lorenzo. Lepiej nie trać czasu, bo jeszcze cię wyleją. Podnoście to żelastwo! Okej, okay, thank you, Dietrich. Uh, does this guy have anything Jestem to say? Za... Okej, okay. so... Is this an encounter? Is this an encounter? Because or did or are there more guards? Feels like there are more guards around, right? Huh. Pureg? Uh, can you tell me about you? Możesz mi coś więcej o was opowiedzieć? Jesteśmy organizacją podlegają prosty łuk. Yeah, I know about that. Any advice in the city? Przede wszystkim dobrze się rozgląda. Okay, show me your maps. 
execute. Ни What now, thank you? Okay, city guard. Uh, how are you doing? Cool, cool, cool. Hey, kogo ja widzę? Wiesz co, zjawił się u nas jakiś typ, który szuka ludzi do pracy. Może do niego zajrzy i siedzi tam przy stole. Przedstawił się jako Bruno. Okay, show me your wares. Cool, cool, cool. So that's a, that's another quest we can do. Dark Paladine, milk, raspberry drink. Actually gonna buy this one because it does have raspberries. Um, meat packs, fisherman's cauldron, no. Beer bread, apples and pastry, yeah, gonna buy that. So, we seem to know all the recipes. Okay, so this is another quest in the tavern. I'm gonna... Gonna have to go here later. First, let's uh, report to Lorenzo. See if we have enough time to uh, actually get to the gold mine as well. Uh, seems to be quite a commotion up ahead. Quite a lot of people. Guessing a cutscene is about to play. So what happened here? Stój! A nie kroku dalej! Straż ma wszystko pod kontrolą. Nie potrzebujemy pomocy gildii kupieckiej. Jakże nieźle. Ale byłoby znacznie lepiej, gdybym nie mógł. Okay, so how did he know that uh... Z roku na rok. Z roku. How did he know that we are a part of the guild? If we if we do not have our armor on. Yeah, tra la la. How's life? Okay, so let's uh, report back to Lorenzo. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have to find out who tried to assassinate Volker. We also have another quest at Gerstan. Man, the quests are piling up. I love it. I love it. Man, Argolos has so much content. This game has so much stuff to do. Is this a random encounter? Oh, he's just a traveling trader. Oh, does he have anything interesting from us? Bistrary... Bistrary beasts? Uh, did we read this one? I have no idea. Uh, speed potion, yeah, why not? Let's uh, buy it. And actually, since uh, we're here, let's uh, just... Uh, Sell some of our stuff, right? Knight's Blade, Fine Two-Handed Sword, Stonebreaker, Pirate Cutlass, yeah, let's uh, sell the stuff we have. Interestingly enough, the game, um, the game does uh, put a different value on weapons we loot from enemies. So we do not become too rich from selling weapons, which I guess is a pretty intelligent decision. Uh, sell all the bows, slingshot, runner's bow, willow's bow. Yeah, we don't need all of this stuff. I'm actually tempted to sell the heavy branches as well, but I'm not certain if we're gonna use them later on or not. One-handed bonus, uh, yeah, definitely sell all the spell scrolls. We do not need these. Small firestorm, no thank you. No thank you. Transform into meat box, storm, uh, 400 magical damage. Mm, 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 yeah, let's uh, keep it for now. Maybe we're gonna... Maybe we're gonna find a way... Bichery Jones, Lizards, Sharks, Fear of Logs, Order to Kidnap. Man, so much stuff we cannot sell. So much stuff, like, I get it. I get it. Uh, it's addressed to me. A letter addressed to a friend. Uh, map of Arkelos, Moritz's map. Map of the sewers, assassination attempt. Attempt, sorry. Okay. Oh, we still need a lot of money. Damn. Like, I feel we're making a lot of money, but then again, every time we visit a trader that has a good potion to sell, we instantly run out of stuff. 
I don't remember these guys over here. So is this a new encounter? Are we gonna get mugged? Are we gonna get mugged? Jestem zajęty. Zostaw. Jestem. Wynocha. Get out, huh? Uh, can we talk to Hershlik? I think his name is to get more uh, plants. No. Okay. So what? Two days have passed since we talked to him. Maybe he just gives us stuff once a week. Or maybe once every new chapter, I have no idea. Uh, let's talk to Lorenzo. Hi, Sander. Roxas Runner. How's life? Okay. So, how are we doing? Kinda like to put some more points into two handed weapons if possible. I can't remember the guy who. No. I don't want to take advantage of uh, the fact that training is free. Javad, no. Caramon. Uh, dexterity, one-handed weapons, no thank you. Mm, come on. Who was the guy that hey, could dear. train me? Traveling trader, be sure snappers. I think I read the snappers one. Bottled beer. Eh, I guess I'm gonna get the speed potion, why not? Salter. I don't think I have any more wheels for Salter. Uh, was it Ingor, the guy who could teach us... Um, I think it was Ingor, right? Goniec, Marvin. Yes. Zdaje się, że masz jakąś sprawę do obgadania I know, z I know. I know, that's why I'm here. So, uh, let's train. Okay, two-handed weapons, thank you. Two-handed and one-handed weapons, huh? So we're at the point when where we get uh, two-handed... Ooh. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I have no idea if we need to train um, crossbow as well in order to get a promotion. No clue. But I do know that I want I want to put points into handed weapons. So show me your wares. Yeah, you have the same stuff. How are you doing? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, well, spa, 16, not enough strength points. Yeah, man, we need a lot of gold. We need to make a lot of gold somehow. And there are still more chapters in which uh, merchants will restock their inventory so let's uh, save the game talk to lorenzo see see about reporting to him so lorenzo sorry to wake you buddy who do i see chwilę cię tutaj nie było mogę wiedzieć gdzie się podziewałeś przez cały ten czas i continue to investigate the disappearance of my brother kontynuowałem śledztwo w sprawie zaginięcia mojego brata Jakieś postępy? Jeden z nich zaszył się w obozie na bagnie, znanym wśród miejscowych jako przystań łotrów. Miał przezwisko Duży Ben. Jest, to znaczy był, mistrzem tamtejszej areny i strasznym furiatem. Próbowałem rozwiązać mu język, ale facet majaczył jakieś bzdury. Nie powiedział mi nic wartościowego. Nie powiedział, bo byłeś dla niego za miękki. Chyba musisz wziąć kilka lekcji u Adelarda. Opowiedz mi lepiej, co Maybe. wiesz o tej przystani. It's a dive full of all kinds of To spelona pełna różnej maści bandziorów. Jedyną zasadą, której tam się trzymają, jest wypełnianie rozkazów niejakiego Corteza. To on tam dowodzi. Jego ludzie organizują walki na arenie, handlują nielegalnymi towarami i przemycają ludzi. Czyli te szczury są w stanie zagnieździć się nawet w takich miejscach. No, to jest raport, jakiego od ciebie oczekiwałem. Chyba pora, żebyś dostał odpowiednie wynagrodzenie. Please give me a lot of gold. Okay. So my brother is... Um... Thank you, boss. Dziękuję, szefie. Widzę, jak bardzo się starasz odnaleźć swojego brata. Ale jak to mówią w naszym fachu, czas to pieniądz. Właśnie czasu mamy teraz bardzo niewiele, a problemów do rozwiązania całe mnóstwo. Skoro raport mamy za sobą, 
przejdźmy do meritum naszego spotkania. Zeszłej nocy gubernator Morris wprowadził w mieście stan wyjątkowy. State of emergency, ha? W pobliżu zatoki zakotwiczył statek z uchodźcami z Londram. Morris chce się upewnić, czy nie ma wśród nich bandziorów i wrogów politycznych. Z tego powodu wysłał niemal cały garnizon strażników, by dokładnie sprawdzili przybyszów. Głupiec liczy, że tym sposobem zapewni obywatelom bezpieczeństwo, ale naraża przy tym całe miasto na ogromne straty. Dobrze, że chociaż zrezygnowali z tego pomysłu zamykania miasta. Wtedy dopiero by się tutaj zagotowało. Nawet przed przybyciem tego okrętu w mieście nie panowały najlepsze nastroje. A opinia mieszkańców na ja. temat uchodźców... Cóż, pozostawia wiele do życzenia. Jeśli na Archolos dojdzie do zamieszek, to stracimy na tym wszyscy. Dlatego zdecydowałem się posłać do portu część naszych chłopców. Mają pomóc w uspokojeniu sytuacji i pokazać, jak gildia troszczy się o nasze piękne miasto. Okay. Czyli sytuacja została opanowana? Niestety to nie wszystko. Ktoś wykorzystał zamieszanie spowodowane przybyciem okrętu do portu i zaatakował Volkera, jednego z najbogatszych ludzi na całej wyspie. Zamach się nie udał, a Bełtem oberwał jeden z jego ochroniarzy. Straż co prawda pochwyciła głównego podejrzanego, ale jak dla mnie tylko znalazła sobie yeah. kosza ofiarnego, żeby ukręcić sprawie łeb. Dlaczego straży zależy na szybkim zakończeniu śledztwa? Lada dzień do miasta przypłynie królewski wysłannik w celu zebrania podatków i sprawdzenia, czy mieszkańcy przestrzegają prawa królewskiego. Nie jesteśmy na to odpowiednio przygotowani, bo w tym roku przybędzie wcześniej niż zwykle. I tutaj właśnie wkracza Gildia Kupiecka. Jak sam pewnie wiesz, ostatnio doszło do kilku niezbyt przyjemnych incydentów na linii naszej organizacji oraz reprezentantów Myrtany. Do tego ta konfiskata statków. Mamy teraz okazję, by pokazać, że Gildia Kupiecka to organizacja pełna profesjonalistów i że potrafimy rozwiązywać problemy miasta efektywniej niż straż. Chcę, żebyś to ty zajął się śledztwem. Wszystko już omówiłem z gubernatorem Morrisem. Roder ich pewnie nie mógł wytrzymać ze złości, gdy o tym usłyszał. Aha, so the idea is if we solve the investigation, we can impress the royal envoy and maybe we'll have to pay fewer taxes. That's actually pretty smart from a political point of view. So where do I go first? Dokąd najpierw mam się udać? Zgaduję, że do niedoszłej ofiary zamachu, czyli Volchera. Jego dwór znajdziesz w dzielnicy mieszczańskiej na południe od koszar. Jeśli zgubisz drogę, zapytaj strażników. Oni cię pokierują. Okay. A co ty myślisz o Volkerze? Volker od lat wspiera naszych kontrahentów. Jego zniknięcie ze sceny politycznej stworzyłoby lukę, którą trzeba by było szybko zapełnić. A zwyczajnie nie mamy na to czasu i pieniędzy. Osobiście za nim nie przepadam. Ale na ten moment nie możemy dopuścić, żeby chociaż włos spadł mu z głowy. Kim jest główny podejrzany? Jakiś sfrustrowany biedak. Podobno jego ojciec zadłużył się u Volkera na okrągłą sumkę. Spłata należności się przedłużała, a chłopak zaczął nachodzić Volkera i rozpowiadać, że jego rodzina została oszukana. Wiesz, gdzie znajdę tego podejrzanego? Pewnie gdzieś w lochu na terenie koszar. Zakładam jednak, że nie będzie tam siedział w nieskończoność. Zanim do niego pójdziesz, porozmawiaj z Volkerem i poznaj jego wersję wydarzeń. Twierdzisz, że ktoś inny stoi za zamachem? Twierdzę, że dzieciak nie wyglądał mi na zamachowca, a straż zrobi wszystko, żeby zamknąć śledztwo przed przybyciem królewskiego wysłannika. To czy rzeczywiście stał za zamachem zależy od wyniku twojego śledztwa. Dlaczego to mnie wybrałeś do tego yeah, zadania? That's a good Z przemytnikami w mieście poradziłeś sobie całkiem nieźle. Niekonwencjonalne metody mogą przydać się w tym śledztwie. Poza tym jesteś młody. W mieście jeszcze wiele osób nie zna twojej twarzy. Może uda ci się dowiedzieć czegoś więcej niż moim pozostałym chłopcom. Co się better argument. Zajmę się tym. <śmiech> Wiedziałem, że mogę na ciebie liczyć. Wróć do mnie, gdy już uda ci się zebrać jakieś dowody. Pójdziemy z tym do ratusza i przekażemy wszystko gubernatorowi Morisowi. Ruszaj i pokaż, jak radzi sobie z takimi problemami Gildia Kupiecka. Okay. Jak się to... Sytuacja na wyspie się... Cool, good to know. So it's uh, daylight already. Okay. Before I do that, however, um, kind of want to go to the Araxas gold mine first. 
do that quest because um, I've been putting I've been putting it off for uh, way too long and kind of want to finish the side quest because I'm feeling that there are maybe just a few quests left in this chapter. It, the pacing of the story feels like we're nearing the end of uh, what's this? Citizen, citizen, citizen. Uh, is this an inspection or what? Looks like an inspection. Okay, so let's uh, make our way to the Aroxas gold mine. We're actually gonna go by foot, just in case we get any other random encounters along the way. Who knows? Now let's. There's a lot of. There's a lot to digest right now. So first of all, um. I've read that a lot of people complain that the story and Arkelos focuses way too much on Marvin's issues, but also on politics. Personally, I love it. Uh, Gothic is a game that can, or should I say the, um, not necessarily the lore, the setting. The story setting allows for a lot of tales to be told in the lands of Mertana, right? I do not mind the fact that we get a cool gothic game with a political approach, but at the same time, um, personal touch. I actually care a lot about Marvin. I actually care about Marvin now for some reason. Um, I don't care about Yorn though. And the same issue is... It's the same issue that Follow Free had and many other games had. Uh, even Watch Dogs, you cannot care about a character that you've only met for five minutes. In Fallout 3, how many players actually first completed the main quest and then did side quests? Nobody, right? Nobody actually cared about finding the main protagonist's dad, voiced by Liam Neeson. No. Everybody did all possible quests in Fallout 3 before going to the main quest. How can you care about him? I, I know it's a subtle psychological thing, but how can you care about a character to whom you have no emotional attachment to, right? You can't. You realistically can't. Okay, everybody seems to be having a nice lovely dinner. Oh, there's a traveling trader over here. Uh, what does he have? Well, I'm actually gonna get a speed potion out of him. Beachery goblins and bats. I have no idea if I read those. People of the North, pretty sure I read that one. Bottle of pure spirit, bottle of beer, nah, not interesting. Uh, did we read that? Yep, we read all the bitchery books. Uh, let's see, so. Who is who? My task is to investigate the current situation, the atmosphere stands, and the guild is concerned about the potential worker riot. Now, can we talk to Finn, the guy who ascertains no? We cannot talk to Finn. I see. So we need to talk to this guy, to the guard, but before we talk to the guard, I do want to drop some stuff that we can use later on. So first of all, I want to drop some runes. I want to drop the heal medium wounds, the open lock, telekinesis one as well, uh, and that's about it really. Actually, let's um, let's drop the lightning one as well. Because yeah, this is the trick, by the way. If we want to enter, and curious, if we wear our Raxus armor, hey, do we get a discount or? Can I get them for free? Okay. Okay. So it seems that uh, he's taking uh, Lorenzo's seal. I have to be careful to whom I show it to. Okay. So we have gold nuggets. A uh, bunch of pickaxes. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what does, it, what does this quest say? I'm inside, I have to be extra careful now about what I go, who sees me, and most of all, what I say and to whom. I thought maybe Rowell will 
tell me about the news at the mine, but I don't see him anywhere. Oh, oh okay, cool. They respawned. That's awesome. Let's uh, dig a little. Mm. Yes, it broke. Fortunately, we brought a bunch of pickaxes, Marvin. We brought a lot of pick pickaxes. I'm actually curious if we can use... Um, once we run out of pickaxes, of course, if we can use Vault Bricks pickaxe. Or if the game just simply flags that as a regular weapon. So let's uh, let's see. Do people have uh, anything else to say? So yeah, by the way, we just lost 500 gold pieces on that uh, Viking uh, funeral thingy. Okay, so uh, give me a second while I um, mine everything that there is to mine. Uh, let's uh, drink some water. Okay, you feel full. That's all right. So give me a second while I mine everything off screen. And uh, then... jak widzisz, mamy tu dzisiaj komplet. Ale jeśli zapłacisz teraz, to obiecuję, że zajmę dla ciebie jedno z tych świetnych miejsc do kopania. Uh, no, thank you. Nie, dzięki. Nigdzie w kopalni nie znajdziesz tak dobrych złóż jak tutaj. Aha. First of all, let's help ourselves to his purse. So, there are actually quite a few miners in one of my shafts. Narsas promised me to take a place if I pay him properly. Yeah. But what happens if, um, if I try to... Uh -huh. What happens if I do this? What happens if we are a bit... Uh, for a bit cheeky. Does Nars have anything to tell us? So that one broke. I'm actually curious. Um, are we gonna finally get our extraction to maximum? Or not. So yeah, th this is a simple trick in order to mine these nuggets without paying Nars two gold. Um... Hey, hey, hey. Back off. Back off, buddy. Okay, there's nothing left. And the nice part is we can heal up. Because we have infinite mana regeneration. Okay, let's see what uh, these guys have to tell me. Captain, do you wish to tell us about our fachu? Yeah. Ostatnio sporo ćwiczyłem. Chyba naprawdę wziąłeś sobie do serca moje ostatnie rady. W takim razie możesz się nam na coś przydać. How so? Dokopałem się z kolegą do naprawdę dobrych skał, pełnych pięknych samorodków. Ale jest jeden mały problem. Skała jest bardzo niestabilna. Jeśli zaczniemy od tak sobie kopać, to pewnie połowa urobku nam przepadnie pod gruzowiskiem. Gdybyśmy jednak zaczęli pracować jednocześnie, to wszystko powinno być w porządku. W najgorszym okay. wypadku ściana osunie się, gdy my wszyscy zdążymy już napchać sobie kieszenie złotem. To jak będzie? Wchodzisz w to? Uh, yeah, sure. Jasne. Bierzmy się do roboty. Dobra, z tobą jest już nas komplet, więc możemy zaczynać. Widzisz te cztery spore bryły złota za nami? Podejdź do tej najbardziej po prawej i zacznij kopać. Dołączymy do ciebie. So furthest to the right, you mean this one. Okay? Let's uh, start digging. Come on, dude, you're slacking. Come on. Let's start digging. Wow, five gold nuggets. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Dig, dig, dig. Come on, Marvin. Oh. Oh. This is not good. What happens if we leave? Does it uh, collapse? I'm actually curious. What happens if uh, we go to bed? <laughs> we go to bed. We sleep until the next morning. Does it go boom? Does the mine go boom? What is it? Just one of those um, quests that have to uh, have a specific specific trigger instead of uh, 
instead of a time thingy. Yeah, it seems to be triggered, so let's dig a little more. Uh-oh. Olera blisko było. Dobrze, że było nas czterech, inaczej pewnie obsunęłaby się cała ściana. Zatrzymaj to, co wydobyłeś. Teraz już będę wiedział, z kim rozmawiać, gdy znowu trafię na dobre złoże. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, thank you for the purse. What's been going on? Możesz mi powiedzieć coś więcej o tym, co się tu ostatnio dzieje? Zazwyczaj nie lubię gadać na ten temat, ale coś ci powiem, bo jesteś w porządku, Wadzet. Te wszystkie protesty, skargi i kłótnie nasiliły się niedawno, może z pół roku temu. Okay. Ja tam w sumie się zajmuję swoimi sprawami i żyje mi się całkiem nieźle. Może gdyby więcej czasu kopali, a mniej dyskutowali, jak to jest źle, to też by im to wyszło na dobre. Okay, so this is depleted. Yeah, they are all depleted. Good, good, good. So we made a little bit of gold. So finish up these couple of gold nuggets. So yeah, one thing I wanted to mention. I read up on uh, this quest a bit. Uh, it's a bit buggy. So there are apparently two endings to the quest. Who's who? Ending num number one is uh, pretty much the good ending. Not gonna spoil it. Let's hope we get it. Let's hope we get a good ending. Ending number two, however, is the bad ending, and it's triggered by guess freaking what? If we give Bloodwin a beer, we're gonna trigger the bad ending. Not even joking. Not even joking. So I cannot even remember if we gave Bloodwin a beer back in chapter one, but if we did. Jeśli chcesz coś kupić, to zapraszam, ale nawet nie myśl by próbować coś ukraść. Dokładnie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, thank you for the purse. Oh, somebody tried to rob you? Let's pickpocket you, first of all. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, somebody tried to rob you. Ktoś próbował cię okraść? Nie próbował, a okradł. Ktoś bezczelnie ukradł mi całą paczkę tytoniu jabłkowego. Jeśli tak dalej pójdzie, to nie będę miał czym zapłacić za kolejną dostawę. Próbowałem dostać się do Igora i coś mu o tym powiedzieć, ale strażnicy nikogo do niego nie wpuszczają, a sami przecież się tym nie zajmą. Posłuchaj, wyglądasz na rozsądnego chłopaka. Może chciałbyś dorobić sobie kilka bryłek i pomógłbyś mi znaleźć tego złodzieja. I would uh, love to help you. Out. Zajmę się tym. Wspaniale! Masz! Spróbuj tego. To jeden z ostatnich, które mi zostały. Hmm. Heisner's joint, huh? Okay, so we get 10 experience points. Interesting. Czujesz ten zapach? Bardzo charakterystyczny, prawda? To najlepszy sposób, żeby sprawdzić, kto miał przy sobie mój tytoń. Rozglądaj się za niedopałkami. Jeśli przy kimś wyczujesz ten zapach, to będziesz miał pewność, że to on jest złodziejem. Ten gnojek z pewnością nie mógł się powstrzymać i wypalił jednego albo dwa. Może uda się chociaż odzyskać część paczki. Ja, yeah, I agree. Uh, that's actually a pretty clever way to figure out who took your package. Well, let's heal up first of all. Okay, so uh, Trader Heisner was robbed. There are. Hmm, Heisner's joint. Actually, since we do have the telekinesis. Oh, we actually get a trail, don't we? Interesting. Let's see where the trail goes to. So, how can you actually lose some joints? Seriously, how can you... Aha, I see what it... I see where this is leading us. I see where this is leading us. So, depleted deposit. Telekinesis. Aha, aha. Aha. So, trail ends in the miner's cave. The whole place smells of old tobacco as if the smell came straight from the campfire. So yeah, it's uh, Nicolt and Loafs, huh? I see you guys are the culprits. Not gonna talk to you guys just yet, because here's the thing. There are basically two factions here, right? The guards and the miners. Now, we want to side with the miners. We do not want to befriend the guards. If we want to get the good ending, uh, we need to ignore the guards. I know it kind of sucks, to be honest, it's if we're gonna get the bad ending because we gave Bloodwind some beer, kind of sucks, it's it's bad design, 
To change the outcome of a quest based on an action the player is not informed of. Especially if you, you don't even know what the consequences are for said action. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, open some locks. Okay, this guy has the his back turned to us. Which means we can open the chests here without issue. Uh, we're gonna help ourselves to whatever we can find. So Astol, no. Let's see, what's in this chest over here? Mushroom. Ooh, mushroom stew. Mushroom stew is good. We like everything mushroom related. Thank you. Uh, let's all up ourselves to even more mushroom stew. That's perfect. Ooh, this is perfect. Okay. Anything else around to loot? Anything else? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Now, I know we kicked... Hey. Astol's ass last time, so he's definitely not our friend. Uh, let's see what happens if we go and talk to this guard up here. Okay, so it's supposedly busy. I'll try to come back when I look around in the other parts of the mine. Okay, we need to talk to everybody, see what quest they can give us. And uh, before we... Uh, actually, let's talk to them right now. So, apparently, if we want to get the good ending, we need to do the quest in a certain order. And I hope I nailed the perfect order, so Tolek doesn't have anything to say. Let's see what uh, Nickolt and... Search the bonfire. Really? What did we find? I found an unburned packet in the fire, probably Heisner's tobacco. How is it unburned if it's in the fire? It probably should be enough evidence for the merchant, but perhaps I will confront to find the miners from the cave. Uh, what's the mood here? Okay, Igor is the boss of the mine. Skąd pomysł, że chce się uczyć? To chyba oczywiste. Wszyscy w kopalni wiedzą, że jestem najlepszy w tym fachu. Jeśli ktoś chce się podszkolić, to przychodzi do mnie. To jak? Chcesz się czegoś nauczyć? Jakie panują tu nastroje w ciągu ostatnich dni? Z dnia na dzień jest coraz gorzej. Strażnicy chcą od nas coraz więcej złota. Odkryte złoża się powoli wyczerpują, a nikt nawet nie pomyśli o przedłużeniu szybów. Jeśli tak dalej pójdzie, to Araxos zostanie z pustą dziurą w ziemi. I see. Uh, nearly impossible, not for Marvin. So, can, what can you tell me? mi coś powiedzieć o kopalni? Nie ma wiele do opowiadania. Na brak złota i roboty nie mamy powodu narzekać. Oczywiście mamy tu pewne problemy i niedogodności, ale póki trzymamy się z chłopakami razem, to da się to jakoś przeżyć. Chociaż Igor mógłby się wziąć choć trochę ze swoich chłopaków. Ostatnio pozwalają sobie na zbyt wiele. Okay, do you know anything about the tobacco? Wiesz coś o zaginionym tytoniu Heisnera? Przykro mi, chłopcze. Nic mi o tym nie wiadomo. W ognisku znalazłem spaloną paczkę tytoniu. Wiesz coś o tym? Nie mam pojęcia, skąd w tych śmieciach wzięła się ta paczka. Uwierz mi, gdyby to była sprawka któregoś z naszych... To z pewnością ja i ty bylibyśmy poczęstowani tym tytoniem. Nauczy... So, extraction plus one, it's gonna cost us one gold nugget. We're gonna see if we can actually maximize our extraction to 99. Uh, if we can get lucky enough. So what does it say? He seems to be telling the truth. Unfortunately, the only lead I have. Maybe somebody tried to sabotage them. I guess I'll have to lie to Heisner for the time being. As to not inflame the conflict between the guards and the uh, diggers. Yes, that is actually probably the best idea. So, the gist of it is that I think the guards are taking way too much advantage of... That's a lot of gold. What was I saying? Ooh, so pretty. So pretty, my precious. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, it seems they've been skimming off the top way, way, way too much. And 
for example, if we are gonna talk to one of the guards, one of the shafts over here, uh, he's gonna ask us for quite a lot of gold nuggets, actually, just in order to pass. Uh, this wasn't the case back in chapter 1, so things clearly have changed since then. This is depleted, huh? Okay, so this is the guard. If we talk to him... He's gonna ask us for a ton of gold nuggets. Stoy? Stoy? Uh, I already paid you, yeah. Przecież już ci zapłaciłem. Stary, ostatnio tyle was się tutaj przewija, że już sam tracę rachubę. Może płaciłeś, może nie. No, znaj moje dobre serce. Wejdziesz za połowę aktualnej ceny. Jeśli nie masz zamiaru płacić, to lepiej spadaj za nim się w kurze. Czemu mam niby płacić za przejście? To chyba jasne, że ten fragment kopalni jest zamknięty. Ta dobrowolna opłata jest na cele mm, e, e, odrestaurowania tych pięknych i zapomnianych szybów. 10 złotych samorodków to naprawdę uczciwa darowizna. Okay, so we have to pay to enter. Five gold nuggets, eh? Zapraszam do środka. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so as I was saying, um, the guards uh, in the mine are actually immortal, right? Heavy branch, huh? I think I missed that. They're actually immortal, which means we cannot defeat them in combat. Uh, the animation stuff, that's kind of weird. Huh, animation bug. Cool. So, we are pretty much obligated to pay the, the tax. Now, if we go down here, first of all, let's... Uh, let's have our telekinesis spell uh, popped open. In case we see anything we missed on our first visit, there's a body down here, and the body belongs to Rowell. So I just found Rowell's body. It's hard to tell what took him down, looks like a fall from a great height. I have to decide if I want to tell anybody about this. With the current situation, there is no telling how this will affect the mood. It's definitely not gonna do anybody any good. Uh, thank you for the pickaxe roll. Mushrooms too, and the swamp queen joint. Okay. Oh, we can cannot actually interact with this gold nugget down here. Interesting. That sucks. Okay. Anything else? No. In that case, let's uh, heal our wounds and uh, go back on top to Heistner. So yeah, it seems the guards have been taking way too much and I think they uh, I think they might actually be in control of the mine since they are clearly doing whatever they please without caring for any consequences uh, let's see what's down this side shaft over here uh, nothing seriously nothing so just a pointless useless side shaft interesting if I hey. can I tell this guard about the body? I cannot. Interesting. Uh, there's this gold nugget we missed over here. Come on, Marvin, please level up your extraction. Come on, just just a few fails. That's all we need. We need you to roll that one percent chance to fail just a few times. Just a few times. No? No? Okay. Uh, let's uh, talk to Heisner, who seems to be holding an invisible parchment in his hands. Uh, I follow the lead of your tobacco. Poszedłem za tropem twojego tytoniu. Jak odzyskałeś moją paczkę? Uh, I think somebody was trying to frame the miners. Jedyny trop jak po sznurku prowadził prosto do groty górników. A pozostałości paczki leżały spalone w ognisku. Wydaje mi się to wszystko zbyt oczywiste. Wręcz jak ustawione. Czyli sugerujesz, że mógł to być któryś ze strażników? Cholera! Nikomu już nie można tutaj ufać. A może mówisz tak po prostu, by mnie zmylić? Chyba oszaleję w tej kopalni. Każdy próbuje każdego okraść i oszukać. Wiesz co? Zapomnijmy o całej sprawie. Masz tu za fatygę i nie wracajmy już do tego. 
Okay, and if you want to trade, yeah, it's the same, uh, it's the same offer. So, Kusu, when Heisler learned that somebody might have been tried, he immediately began to panic. I guess he's really afraid of getting into a conflict with the guards. He even paid me a few nuggets to not revisit the matter. Okay, uh, do we have to talk to Bloodwind? Who is apparently playing with the sword. Let's see. Uh, what's the mood here? Oh, thank you for the purse, first of all. Jakie panują tu nastroje w ciągu ostatnich dni? Do roboty, Robalu! Wow! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! That was a bit extreme, wasn't it? Come on! Come on, get up, Marvin! Get up! You're not dead! Wow! It's actually really weird. It's, it's chapter 3 and we're almost level 40. Not to mention that it... Marvin? Uh, Marvin? You're not dead. Marvin? Marvin? Oh my god! He can't get up! It's uh... Oh! Ooh, he got up. Ooh, that was close. Oh, weird. That was very weird. Uh, what happens if I tell him one of the miners Roel is dead? Jeden z górników Roel nie żyje. Znalazłem go na dnie opuszczonego szybu. No cóż, na jego miejsce szybko pojawi się ktoś nowy. Powtarzałem tym idiotom już wielokrotnie, że ten szyb jest zamknięty nie bez przyczyny. Okay, so we cannot uh, tell him anything else. Uh, let's heal up. Wow! He actually... One-shot us! Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Damn, Bloodwind! Ah! Uh, hey! So, this guy doesn't have anything else to say. Uh, these guys do not have anything else to say as well. So, the only persons we can talk to are, I think, Tolik and Nikolt. And somehow we have to get past those guards. Hey, ty. Uh, Tolik? No. Uh, let's see. Nikolt? No. So, Loafs. Hey, ty. Jeden z górników, Roel, nie żyje. Znalazłem go na dnie opuszczonego szybu. Szkoda, chłopaka. Nawet pomimo tego, że więcej gadał niż robił, powiadomię jego kolegów, że to właśnie ty go znalazłeś. That's it? Nauczysz... That's it? Seriously? That's it? Okay, so... It's, it's a bit of a confusing quest. Because you're not exactly sure what to do, first of all. The atmosphere clearly is very tense. Uh, there's no other diggers we can talk to. Uh, we can we talk to this guy? No. Depleted deposit. The three diggers here. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get in and somehow talk to Igor. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, we go up here, we save the game, uh, yeah, sure, let's save it instead of Bradlock, let's see if our lightning spell is gonna do anything. Znowu ty! Igor nie będzie mógł cię przyjąć ani dziś, ani jutro, ani za tydzień. A to dlaczego? A to dlatego, że wyraźnie sobie życzył, by nikt mu nie przeszkadzał. Jeśli nie chcesz oberwać po głowie, to radzę ci spadać. Głuchy jesteś? Jeszcze jeden krok a Okay. So the guard could get very aggressive. What's going on here? I need to get inside somehow. Maybe I can find an entrance from the other side of the building. Okay, so finally we get to the other side of the building. So I was thinking that... Uh, what does it say? Uh, I don't see a second entrance to Igor's office, but I do notice an ajar door to the storage tower. There must be something there to help me pass to get past the guard. Uh, let's see, what can we find here? Aha! Uh -huh. 
there's a bunch of uh, okay this seems to be a storage area for food and stuff like that uh let's go up first so yeah we're gonna end the episode in a few minutes and pick up where we last left off this open yeah it's open igor's key sleep oh a sleep spell oh that's what we needed sleep spell cool 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 i'm actually curious if we can just kill the guard or if that causes more issues hmm actually no why should we use the why should we break our lockpicks actually wait our dexterity is over a hundred uh that means that uh we can't break our lockpicks just yet right means that we're uh, pretty much oh we can actually sell all of our lockpicks except one nice 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 What am I hearing? I heard somebody opening a chest. Uh, or did somebody close the door on us? That's the question. Okay, is there anything? Uh, is there somebody up there? So yeah, in any case, let's uh, finish the episode right here. And we're gonna continue in the next episode. As we are trying to solve the mystery of the Araxos uh, gold mine. Who's who? I'm actually just curious. What happens if, just out of sheer curiosity, is this guy invincible or can we just like... Znowuty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naprawdę. Jeśli masz jakiekolwiek info... Uh -huh. Can we... No. He is... Yeah. He is invincible. Okay, so, thank you guys for watching, it's actually been a pretty interesting quest, although a bit counterintuitive on what you should or should not do. I have no idea if we're gonna get a good ending or the bad ending. We need to be very careful, if not, I'll have to read the quest on Reddit again, just so we can get a good ending. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time, and as always, the most important story in the world is your own. Cheers guys, and take care of yourselves.